This is John Hansen in the Iron Asylum with MPC national level bodybuilder Ted Voigt. Ted is in the off season and he is doing a chest workout today at the Powerhouse Gym in downtown Tampa, Florida. Ted competed in the Southern States last year and this year in 2014 he's going to do the MPC Florida State and then two weeks later he's planning on doing the IFBB North America. So let's join Ted for his chest workout. My name is Ted Void. I'm here at Powerhouse Gym in Tampa doing an off-season chest workout. Um, right now in my off-season, I'm heavier than I've been. It's 270. Um, last year at this time, I was telling John I was 240, 242. So I've been pretty dedicated in the off-season this time. And uh, I'm getting ready for the Florida State Show, which is in the mid, mid-August. And then from there, I'm going to go do the uh, IFBB North American, the pro qualifier, at the end of August. So the good thing about that is being able to have a goal in mind, which for me would be the top five over at the North American. That would be you know, my goal going into it. And uh, trying to peak for that show, but bring the best I could for the Florida State, though, of course. So that's what we're doing here, doing a chest workout, chesting calves. So. This first superset that we're doing, and we're doing supersets. I know in the off season a lot of people like to do straight sets because you want to kind of load the muscle up with as much weight as you can handle. But what me and uh, John do, we basically do the supersets because I'm going as heavy as I can handle on that machine on a uh, hammer to try to stimulate size and, and, and growth. And then with very little rest coming over to the to the dumbbell flat bench so I could kind of get more of a squeeze. So it's almost kind of like finishing the muscle off in my mind. Um, with the weight there, I don't go super heavy. Like I at one time was able to, like I said, I have a little bit of a shoulder injury. So I like to keep this uh, stable movement and then drive blood in the muscle. I'm more of a volume type trainer anyway. Like there's guys that believe more in intensity, kind of like uh, Dorian Yates and Ronnie Coleman. And I, I like to think like I look toward guys like Jay Cutler where it's he's more about volume. But you're, you're lifting with as much weight because heavyweights do build muscle. So I'm trying to stay heavy, but focusing more on the volume. That's my focus. That six to twelve hypertrophy phase, you know, with overlap. You know, obviously you're going to do twos and threes and you're going to do twenties. But that's like my main focus is within that rep range. And doing a superset. Off-season pre-contest, I don't think it's a bad thing. Obviously, if you rest a little longer, you can lift a little more weight, but again, the goal here is volume for me. Everyone does things differently, so but it's been working for me. So, so Ted, you did. Um, you started off your chest workout doing really heavy hammer strength inclines, and then you superseted that with dumbbell bench press. So why are you supersetting then in the off-season, just to increase the intensity? Yeah, increase intensity. I don't do a lot of cardio in the off-season. I get a cardio benefit. And, you know, being I'm 270 right now, so I think, and then, you know, with bodybuilding, it's, it's kind of going toward like a harder physique. You want a harder physique, and I'm almost trying to harden my physique at this, at this uh, weight. You know, I did go, I did do a lot of heavy straight sets the last couple months. Not as many supersets, but now that I'm 270, I'm not trying to be 300 pounds. I want to take the 270 right now and kind of harden my physique, get my body used to this weight. So as I come down for the contest, I'll hold on to a lot of size. And um, I do some supersets and drop sets right now in the off season. I, I like the intensity with it and the, and the blood volume. Well, it makes sense because a lot of guys will do this when they're getting ready for a show, but now that you got all the extra calories and the extra weight, you're going to grow from it because it's just more high intensity, right? Right, right. And, like, I'm not doing circuits or anything like that. I'm doing a superset here, and then I rest. You know, I rest long enough so I can have at the heavy weight um, 100%. I'm not, I'm not doing supersets and drop sets and fatiguing the muscle and then doing it again without... I, I understand the importance of being able to stimulate the muscle with heavy weight, so I do rest. But, like, with the heavy, the heavy incline and going right to that flat bench, that flat bench is not meant... I'm not trying to lift the heaviest dumbbells in the gym. On that one, I'm trying to get a squeeze with the, with the flat bench and drive more blood from a different angle because I just did heavy with the incline. 
And now here with the uh, with the chest fly, this is all squeezed too. But I want to handle heavy weight and then drop the weight immediately and go the same speed. Big thing with people too when they do drop sets, they like to go real fast for some reason with the lighter weight. You keep the same speed. You know, let the muscles. It's time under tension. That's a very important thing. All right. So Ted, you did. Um after you did the uh, pec deck flies, you went over here and now you're doing a superset with the wide grip hammer strength, gets more of the lower packs, and then you're doing the cable crossovers. Are those both for the lower packs then? Yeah, trying to like hit it all different angles of the chest, just like anything else. Um, you got a press movement and a fly movement all designed around the same part of the part of the pecs. So again, looking at the superset, trying to finish that muscle grip in that angle. So then we effectively pretty much hit every angle of the chest once we're, once we're done with this. So like I said, I go on feel, and um, it's not a lot of weight, but the goal is for me is that blood volume. So, I mean, we'll end up doing, I didn't count all the sets, but I try to get at least, at least 20 sets in, you know, per workout. One body part a day. As I get close to the show, what I'm probably going to do is do a six day, one, uh, each body part twice a week and do like a push pull one day, so like a chest back, maybe arms, shoulders, and legs, and then go back to a chest back, but pick completely different exercises than I did four days prior. And maybe that might help getting ready for the show. So you don't feel like you're overdoing one muscle group. And that's a change I'm gonna do this year. You were taking every set pretty much to failure, right? Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. I mean, I actually think I could go harder, so, you know, my goal, and John, he's the guy I train with. He's helping me out too. But he's, you know, when we're at my gym, you know, we're, he's in my face more, and that helps. And I was like, what I was telling you is like, I don't, I don't need to learn like so much new exercises, which I always want to learn new stuff. But I really need to amp up in the off season. I need to make bring my motivation as high as I could because, you know, like I said, I want to, I want to try to make this one work this off season. So, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yep, um, Florida State, I believe is August 17th, and North American is uh, August 30th, and I chose that because I figured I want to come in. Obviously, the goal at the Florida State is to win the overall. I missed my goal. Um, that'd be great. Um, but and then I got two weeks. Two weeks seems to be like the perfect time to kind of dial in for the second show. Last year it was a month. I've done shows before where it was a two-week gap, and I always look better the second show. So. That's perfect to come in and do the North Americans and just see where I stand. Goal there, if I can, is a top five. Um, that'd be great. And then, you know, kind of see where I actually get a chance to go at a national level show where I'm in uh, my best shape because I haven't had that yet. And I want to try to, you know, that's that's where the unfinished business comes in. So, but uh, thanks a lot, RX Muscles, for doing this with me, and uh, I look forward to possibly doing more stuff. All right, Ted. Good luck.